The other thing that is highly beneficial to look at if you are trying to figure out what you should look at in terms of ad targeting or important targets is there is conversion rates in uh, Product Opportunity Explorer for an individual search term, but it's different than the conversion rates reported in um, the search query performance report. So here, the this is called search conversion rate. This is not, um, again, your traditional conversion rate where you think of, you know, okay, someone clicked and did that click lead to a purchase? That's not what this is defining here. Uh, search conversion rate is a shopper used this search query on Amazon. Did they purchase from that search query page? Yes or no. And that is how it's defined. So you're actually going to see really, really low conversion rates here, which might confuse you because you'd be like, wait a minute, I know like conversion rates for MySpace are around 20%. And here you're telling me I have like a 2% conversion, like what gives? So it's search conversion rate. How this is insanely helpful is it says, what is the shopper intent for this particular search term. And this actually helped us to um, validate a theory that I think we've all had for a while, is that the more defined the shopper search, the more specific it is to a very um, like defined type of product, then the, the better your uh, conversion rates should be for that one search query. Uh, so a classic example would be, um, say you had a search shopper search that is, you know, like baby or, you know, shower gift or something like it's, it's undefined where we're not sure what this particular shopper is actually trying to purchase. They're just, they're kind of, it's either a browse keyword or they, that's like their first search. And oftentimes what happens is a shopper will go through that search page and they might click around and they might see some baby blankets or maybe, you know, there's a cute onesie set or something. And they're kind of using this to go deeper into sort of their purchase search. Um, and so maybe they say like, oh, okay, maybe they purchase through that search page or maybe they go, oh, yeah, I, I really want to get a onesie set. And so they'll back out and they'll say, you know, like, gift onesie or you know something they'll they'll kind of go down that search path so a search conversion rate reporting is actually going to give you insights into that search path and what we found is that again the more uh, or the less defined the shopper searches to a particular product the lower your search conversion rate will be and you'll actually find on some very broader terms inside of the product opportunity explorer the search conversion rate is going to be zero and you're like Wait, zero conversion rate? My opinion is because there's only two decimal places. I think if they extrapolated out, you would, you know, maybe get like a 0. 0.00001 or something. So there are some people uh, going through and purchasing through those searches. But what that shows you is that just because the search volume in, is high on a particular keyword does not make it a good keyword, especially if you're going to be, you know, dumping a lot of volume into, you know, your ads, a lot of uh, ad spend to go after a particular search. If that search, you can't validate that it's going to lead to high purchase behavior from shoppers, it's probably best to save your money. Because with the search conversion rate, it's not saying like, hey, are they clicking around, right? They might still be clicking around, but are they purchasing? And you can use that to kind of validate potentially your launch strategy, your ranking strategies to know that, okay, I, I've at least done the work to say, okay, if I'm going to put a lot of my ad spend into these searches to, again, grow my market share, grow my product, grow my sales, I know I'm putting that ad spend in a place that has high shopper intent in terms of purchases.